now that we've reviewed the notion of functions, one-to-one -one functions, and inverse functions, we get into the heart of the course, which is finding the distribution of a random variable y, which is some function of a random variable x, where we know the distribution of x, and we'd like to find the distribution of y. In this chapter, there are three different techniques that are used for finding the distribution of y. The first technique is known as the cumulative distribution function technique. It will be covered in section 7.1. The second technique is known as the transformation technique, and it will be uh, introduced in section 7.2. And then the third technique is known as the moment generating function technique, and it will be introduced in section 7.3. So starting with the cumulative distribution function technique, the procedure here is exactly the same procedure that was introduced in chapter 3. So no difference here, except we're just going to use it a little more generally. So step one here is to find the support of the random variable x which is denoted by script A. Step two is to determine the cumulative distribution function of the random variable x, which is denoted by capital F sub x of x. Now the reason we need this subscript here is there are two random variables in the picture now. There is x and there is y, and there's going to be two different CDFs in the picture, namely this one, which is the CDF of x, and this one right here, which is the CDF of Y. So that's why you have the subscript. Step three, determine the support of Y equals G of X, which is denoted by the set script B. Step four, write the cumulative distribution function of Y as F sub Y of Y is the probability that Y is less than or equal to Y. So this first part, is from the definition of a cumulative distribution function. And the nice thing about the CDF technique is it always starts out in this same fashion right here. Then what you do is you replace y by its definition g of x and you wind up with this. And that leads to step five. Perform algebra on the argument of p of g of x less than or equal to y, in other words, manipulate this inequality in order to express f sub y in terms of f sub x. But we have f sub x up here in step two. All you need to do is plug in and you will now have the CDF of y. There is an optional sixth step and this step, six steps comes into play when instead of looking for capital F sub Y, you want little f sub Y. And so this optional step is find little f sub Y of Y by differencing the cumulative distribution function f sub y of y when y happens to be discrete or by differentiating f sub y of y when the random variable y is continuous. So it will depend on the context of the problem. If they ask for the CDF, you're done at step five. If they ask for the probability mass function or the probability density function, then you difference if y is discrete or you differentiate if y is continuous.